Ostensibly for the purpose of inspecting her slaves, but in reality to see Tarzan, with whom she is deeply infatuated, Atea, the White Queen of Tor, visits the jewel pits to which the ape man and O'Rourke have been condemned to slavery since the escape of Darno and Uka from the city. While there, the elephant upon which Atea and Jeanette are mounted takes fright and bolts. Tarzan saves the two young women from death by quieting the beast and turning it aside from the brink of an open pit. Again, the queen attempts to persuade the ape man to accept the kingship of Tor and herself as his mate. And again, Tarzan puts her off. In the jungle stockade of the Torian Mounted Patrol, Uka and Darno have killed the guard, opened the gate, and mounted a riding elephant. As they urge their slow-moving beast toward the gate and freedom, the Torians, having been aroused by the guard's death cry, rush forward in a body to head off the fugitives. No, no, Uka. We shall never make it. We must. We'll be close. We shall arrive at the gate first. Watch for spears, Dono. Oui. Kum and Daka. Nanda and Daka. Daka, Nanda. Urged to greater speed by the voices and drumming heels of its riders, the huge slate gray elephant nears the open, unguarded gate. Behind the fugitives, covering the ground with giant strides, the yellow skinned horde of Taurians, yelling and shaking their war spears, comes charging forward. A huge Taurian in the lead suddenly stops in his tracks whips back his arm to cast the heavy weapon. And that big devil is going to throw... Pretty Garuka, look out for the spear. Undaka, Nanda, Undaka. Ah, grasso, bon Dieu. The fellow's throw fell short. And we are through the gate. Yes. In a moment, we have outdistanced them. Why? They are running to the other elephants. Soon they will be after us in earnest. It will take time for them to free their elephants from the picket line. Ananda, Ananda, Undaka. If only we can get beyond sight and hearing, perhaps turn into one of these cross trails? Short distance ahead of the river, Dono. We will swim our elephant downstream to cover our spoor. They would follow easily if we went down an elephant path. And if we can reach the river before they arrive at its banks to see which way to go, we shall have a chance, Nespa. How, how far is it? Just there. You can see the moonlight reflected from the water. See? Between the trees. Ah, we. Oui. Ah. Bleu, this elephant of ours, once he is in motion, runs like a frightened ape. Yes, we're fortunate in getting this Nanda elephant. He belongs to the leader of the patrol and is one of the fastest. How can you know that, mon ami? The first elephant in the line is always that of the patrol leader. He will not overtake us easily, my friend. But, yet, but the Torians also will not soon give up the chase. You're right, Dono. If they fail to recapture us. The leader of this patrol will be thrown to a tail's lion or become a slave in a jewel pit. Ah, here is the river. Tail on Nanda, Nandaka, Um, Um, Nanda. Mon Dieu, Uka. The water is alive with crocodiles. And there, over there on the opposite bank. They will not harm us, Darno, as long as we remain with the elephants. And will they not come out to meet us? No. We will not go directly across. We shall swim downstream. Just beyond that bend in the river, we pass through open country. Come out on the opposite bank and make directly for the border and rock talk. Listen to them roar. Mm, Sacre, whether they come to meet us or not, mon ami, those crocodiles are angry. They will not bother the elephant. We shall soon be out of the water. We're almost around the bend, Arno. Undakananda. Kum. Ecoute. Do you hear that? Yes. The Torians have found our spoor and are following. But when they arrive, they will not know if we have gone up or downstream or across. And thank heaven we are out of sight. Hey, enfin, there is open country. Hoi, hoi, Nanda. Nandaka. Voila, Uka. Look, elephants. They are on the far bank. Oh, there must be a whole herd. Oh, keep our elephant away from them if you can, mon vieux. Uh, not so easy, Dono. He's swimming toward them now. If we can pass through near the edge of the herd. Anga. Adaka. Boom. We have our scent, Dono. Boom, Nanda. La, Andaka. Boom. Boom, Nanda. They are beginning to crowd us, Uka. Can you not work further toward the edge? Oi. Oi, Ananda. Oi. No use, Dono. Sit fast. 
They are going to run. If we fall, we are lost. Tum tum and Akananda. Hoinanda. Tum tum. Come the breath. They are sound beating and with us. In the jewel pit, under the watchful eyes of the yellow-skinned guards, Tarzan and O'Rourke bend side by side to the steady swing of their heavy picks. Nearby, Kailuk, the Ratorian slave, toils as he watches the guards from the corners of alert eyes. We can talk for a minute, Tarzan. The guards at the end of the line. Now, what did the little devil at Teeth have to say to you? Nothing. She renewed her offer. <laughs> Become king of this head and country, with herself as your mate thrown into the bargain, eh? Yes. And a few threats as to what she'll do to us if I don't accept. And he refused her again, eh? Of course. And made her a counterproposal, which she refused. Faith, and has the hussy no decency at all, at all? Can she not take no for an answer? She has this time. So I am to be killed in my fight with Mungo. You and Jeanette, Darno, and Uka, when they are recaptured, go to the fires of Tor. The lieutenant and Uka, hmm? If they're not caught yet, they must have got cleared away. I wonder where they are by this time. Well, on their way to Rator, I hope. If they'd been caught, she'd have told me. Faith, yes. If only to gloat over you. Did I tell give you any idea when Jeanette and I go to her haven stove? You are to watch Mungo kill me first. Oh, hmm. And when do you fight the brute? She didn't say, definitely. Hmm. What do you think of this fellow, Mungo? Do you believe you can bait him? He's strong and big as an ox. Oh, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. When the time comes, I'll defend myself. He'll have to do more than that, my lad. He challenged him to fight and... Uh, look, Kai looks signaling into you. What is it, Kai Luke? Biff slaves become anxious, Tarzan of the Apes. They ask for further details of your plan of escape. You to me. They must wait. I'm not yet ready to make the first move. It must be soon. Otherwise, there will not be enough slaves to carry out your plan. Not enough? What do you mean? The Feast of Bantu will soon be held here in Tor. Many slaves are then given over to sacrifice to Atea's lions, to the fires of Thor, and to the god Pantu. Oh, I didn't know about that. When does this feast take place? Seven days hence, at the beginning of the new moon. Seven days. Time enough, Kailuk. You must wait until I give word. Yeah. Yeah, it shall be so. I shall pass the word tonight. Where ties on the guard? Right, O'Rourke. Pass the word, Kailuk. We will make the attempt before the Feast of Pantu. Meanwhile, in Atea's chamber in the palace, the White Queen vents her wrath on Jeanette and Wong Tai at Tarzan's cool indifference to her repeated advances. Do not stand there staring, woman. Go, bring me my pen. Yes, your majesty, at once. And you, Wang Tai, instead of grinning like a Chinese idol, suggest something. How may I bring this Tarzan to his knees? The unapproachable one might accept his word that he will return once he has taken Janet and Terence O'Rourke out of the jungle. You forget Lieutenant Darno and Uka. When they are recaptured, uh, the sense, Your Majesty. Be silent, woman. No, Wang Tai. He would never return. It is written that if one rejects the iron, one shall never make the steel. You mean? Only that this person is convinced of the fact that once Tarzan has given his word, 
he will not break it. Then you are wanting in your knowledge of the character of men, my friend. Repeat that in English that I may understand. It was the advice given to his pupils by Tao Tzu, the great Chinese philosopher. It means slowly must you learn that your knowledge may be certain. Your proverbs are childish. They do not interest me. I bow before the subtle and esteemed wisdom of the present. I am not a fool, Wang Tai, nor am I blind. It is in your mind to accompany these people away from Tor, should I permit them to leave. Is that not so? I, heaven-born, this person has not considered such an eventuality. However, why not permit Tarzan to accompany his friend under the escort of a strong guard of your warriors to ensure his return. No, he shall not leave here, with or without my warriors. Nor shall he go with you, Janet Burton. Nor would I agree to his sacrificing himself for me, Atea, under any condition. You would rather see Mungo kill him? I, I'm not sure that Mungo can harm Tarzan. Hmm. <laughs> so you say. Yet your eyes, your actions speak differently. You are afraid. Afraid that your Tarzan will be killed. And he will be, I assure you of that. Yet uh, you may save him, my dear. I? If How? of his own free will, he remains here with me. I shall not permit the combat to take place. And you will go free. And... And Terence O'Rourke? He also, of course. But... But if Tarzan does not agree, then he will die in the public arena. O'Rourke? And those two who think they can escape my warriors shall be warmed by the fires of Tor. And you, my dear, 